Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 33. Congratulations if you're watching this video, you've officially made it to the halfway point, and don't stop. Keep going. All right, so today we're going to dive back into designs, print assets, and in yesterday's challenge video, I showed you how to create a flyer. Today, we're going to focus on multi page print based assets with a couple of examples including postcards and then your listing or buyer presentation so let's get into the designs applet ninth icon down we've got our paintbrush and palette icon we're going to create a design as we have over the last several days we're going to go to print and click on next and we're going to get taken into the we brand editor with all of our assets First thing I wanted to show you is on postcards. So we're gonna go down to listings. Let's say we have a just listed property and we want to advertise that via uh, a direct mail send out. So you can see at the very top here, we do have two different types of uh, postcards. So you've got portrait, which is basically just a vertical. It's a four by six, but it turned on its side. And then you've got standard, which is a four by six just laying horizontally. So uh, this is the one that I typically see sent out. Doesn't mean you couldn't do the four by six vertical, um, but just to make it simpler, we're gonna do the standard six by four postcard. And when you hover over these designs, take note that you see a little box in the top left-hand corner. You see if I hover over this long enough, I'm gonna get a second page that pops up. That's how you know this is a multi-page template. So any one of these, they're all very similar. Let's just choose this third one over. I'm gonna click on use. And what that's gonna do, you've seen this already, right? Same kind of layout that we had with our print-based asset, with the only exception being down here at the bottom right, we've got this page button. So I can click on pages, and now you can see that I've got the front of the postcard as one page, and then the back of the postcard as the second page. So this is essentially, we could go through the same process we went through last time. We've got some text boxes, we've got a headshot, some more text, more text, we've got a logo, and then our Market Center logo. Right on the front, we've just got a photo, and then several different text boxes that we would want to change. Pretty simple and easy to go through. Um, let's go in, let's see if KWS is working today. I wanted to search for that listing. Let me see, two, four, pull up my old house and see if we can get that to work all right 2422 fawn lake circle um yeah something's off with my credentials i don't know what's going on with that we'll figure that out someday um but essentially typically you'd be able to pull up all the listings here you would click on the listings you could see the photos you could change out the photos same way we changed out your headshot so um, that's probably something on my end that i need to get addressed and i certainly will soon so this is a multi-page template. You would make the edits the same way. Another nuance here, when you go to download, you're gonna choose whether you're downloading all of the pages at once or whether you want the pages separated. Now, when it does come time for a direct mail campaign, just as a heads up, we are gonna to want to separate the front of the postcard and the back of the postcard as two separate files, two separate downloads. Reason being is when it comes time for that direct mail campaign, we're gonna upload them separately. Another example of a multi-page document, if we hop back out of here, we're gonna click on done. We're gonna go back to create, design, print, next. And if you go down, again, we spent a lot of time inside of listings. So let's look, right? And you can see we've got a full-on listing presentation. So I'm gonna choose listing presentation. Now I've got five different templates and if I hover over these, you can see these are nine plus. That's a whole lot of pages on each one of these. Um, just as a heads up, this one, as you can tell on the cover photo, uses a lot of black. That's gonna kill the toner. So if you're using an office printer and you get free copies and free prints, hey, by all means. If you're gonna use your own printer, you may not wanna use this one just as a heads up. Ask me how I know I got about halfway through printing one of these on my own home printer and it just started kind of crapping out because I lost the black ink. So let's use this last icon, the fifth one, uh, listing and presentation. I'm gonna click on use. 
and when we get into this presentation, it's kind of unique because we have some pages that you're not actually going to include in your listing presentation. So I've got 29 pages. I can see that at the bottom right here. So I can click on that and then I can sort of scroll through and see all of the pages. With this listing presentation template, I already know the first page. I'm, I'm not gonna print or use that. So I can hover over this page. I can click on the three dots and then delete that page. Right? Do I wanna delete design number one? Yes, I do. That page would then go away. All of my pages would then get reordered. And the second page you can now see, I'm not sure why that didn't go away, but it should. Uh, you've got the instructions on here as well, right? So this is also a great page. Hey, make sure you review all of the written content so that you are aware of which sections you need to customize. There are a lot of pages in this listing presentation. Same thing with the buyer presentation. Uh, super important that you do go through and make those edits. Um, but in the same fashion, let's see if we delete this page. Yes, I want to delete design number two. Um, that one went away for some reason. Design page number one. Yes and yes. Did it go away? That number one just wants to stick around. I don't know if that's locked somehow or what that may be. But um, regardless, when it comes to download or print, you don't necessarily need to worry about that page. So as we go through, you can see you've got the opportunity to make changes to each one of these pages. And unfortunately, the changes don't carry over. So for example, if I update my headshot here, I'm still going to have to update my headshot on the last page as well. Right? So looks now like it deleted but it just took it to an empty page uh, so as you go through right so here's headshot on page two I would still have to update that um, and then you've got information on each one of these so depending on how much content you want to provide on your listing presentation you can decide which of these pages you actually want to make changes to and there may be some that you don't use at all there may be some right so you can see as in the process in Texas we don't have attorney review so I would need to click on that text box and change that to something else, or I'd have to make some edits and kind of move all the text boxes and take the last two out. Um, I have found it's easier on a page like this to just figure out another step because moving all of these boxes and then making sure they line back up again is a major pain. So in my opinion, just figure out another step in the process at that point. Um, going through, you can see the app, right? You wanna make sure your app link is in here. This never looks good. Um, but yeah, just be careful when you go through this. It's a lot of great information and you just want to make sure it's as updated as possible and has all of your pertinent information. So again, when we go to download, you can see same thing, right? PDF standard for a multi-page document. Do I want all of the pages? And in this case, right, you can see which pages you want. You can uncheck, right, and then recheck which pages do I actually want to download? Or in this case, right, you can even order prints if you wanted to do that. Now, I have not gone through this process before. Um, oh, you gotta have multiples of four, and this contains 27 pages. So 24 or 28. So it's a good point, right? So let's go back to pages. If I wanted to add a new page, I can click on this new page button down here at the bottom, Right, and that just brings in a blank template for me just to kind of go to town with. Whatever I want to do on this page, um, I could do. Just make sure, obviously, that it's similarly formatted to the rest of the pages, which it should be, right? Um, but what else did I want to bring in? Maybe up here, I'm removing some pages or I'm adding some pages. Uh, maybe there's some different things about me, my team, uh, my market center, uh, you know, all kinds of different things if you're involved in maybe KW Next Gen, KW Cares, et cetera, add information about that. A lot of different options for you. Um, but that's today really just the multi-page asset, your ability to view all of your pages. Oh, by the way, you can click and drag if you want to reorder the pages. Uh, so I want 14 here, and then let's move 15 down. I'm just holding down my mouse button and dragging each one of those pages to reorder them. I showed you how to delete them. If you wanted to make duplicates of them, right? So let's say, especially back when you get to that CMA page, let me go back up here. Um, maybe you have more than four comps and you wanna show them more, but you don't wanna to have to redo it all. I can just duplicate, right? And then that's gonna bring down, and I think it puts it at the, did I put it at the bottom? No, it stuck it down in here. So um, those are all of your different ways to add pages to a multi-page design, remove pages, delete pages, download pages, a little bit different just than just a single page flyer. 
Um, and again, remember on postcards, you're going to want to download front separate from the back. That's it for today, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.